fantastic. What can I tell you? I mean, Manchester's got the most vibrant fringe scene anywhere. Yeah, I was going to say in the world, that's a bit absurd. Obviously in this country. Um, and some great performances. And, you know, what, what a fantastic thing to do. Go and see a great performance, and it's mostly in bars and pubs. And so proud of being on Cunium right now with the wealth of talent, writers, directors, and actors that we've got at the moment. I'm so proud to be part of it, and it's it's stunning. Can't wait for next year. Oh. <laughs> um, amazing. To be honest, um, I've done Edinburgh. I've done quite a lot of fringe, like all around the country. For me, it was kind of didn't really know that Manchester was kind of had this starting or going, I know it went last year as well, um, but yeah, it was, it was just, just to meet people around Manchester, meet people like Debbie herself and everyone else that's so involved in it, it's just, it's amazing because like you get certain certain festivals that are going on like 24-7 and stuff like that where you have to, you get invited to the groups and stuff like that, but this is kind of given the opportunity of actors that are just really passionate about doing it. And just saying, well, hang on, we can we can put this together. It's ten pounds, and what an experience to actually get in front of like people like um, themselves. It's it was very good, um, very busy, and um, and, and uh, hard work. Um, my wife is is the, the director of the fringe, and uh, and I think it's amazing what she's done, and um, I think. What we got here now is, is the highlight for me is that it's got bigger than, than, it, than it was last year, and, and that it'll continue to grow. And I'm, I'm passionate about it because I think it's something that that's a city like Manchester is, is big enough to to sustain a vibrant fringe. And um, the exciting thing for me is that this that this, that this time next year it'll be even bigger. And, and well. Better. I walked into a bar during the fringe and I got pregnant almost straight away. <laughs> Apart from that, it's been great. It's, it's been great. brilliant. It's been brilliant. I really, my favourite show, I don't know about yours, my favourite one was Ben Moore on the 4th of July. Yeah, Beautiful, great. moving show, made me think about my life and everything. <laughs> yeah. What's brilliant about the fringe is that there's eyes and there's legs. There's all sorts. Yeah, it's brilliant. Death Ed was, was Interesting. Oh, we loved it, um, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, loved it. It was a, a really it. enjoyable experience. It was great to kind of be involved uh, in a project like Wine of India, where you've got a script that's not been seen for 30 years or whatever, and for the guys, Dan Thackeray and the team, to kind of take that on and turn it into a production. I didn't really know what to expect when I read it. When I first read through it, I thought, what the hell is this I'm getting myself into here? Um, but it was a great script to kind of take on, to try and play a character that is completely nothing like myself and out of my comfort zone really. Uh, it was a great opportunity to try and uh, evolve that character and see what I could become. So um, I, I it, it was it. it was really amazing. It's good to see something that's so vibrant and so lively throughout July. I mean, I've been to the Edinburgh Festival for the last few years and it's good to see the same spirit recreated in the city that I live in, which is amazing. How about you, Matt? Oh, it's been a very busy month, a tremendously busy month. It is nice to see Manchester bringing its own homegrown talent to the fore during the Fringe. And there's been a lot of very good stuff on across several different venues. New venues, new stuff, new writers, new actors. It's been a great month.